Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of uterine polyps with fibroids. The patient is aged about 40 years, having three children. You can see the uterus and it is antiverted, looks bulky and a uterine polyps is seen in the distal portion of the uterine cavity. Overgrowth of cells in the lining of the uterus, that is endometrium, leads to the formation of uterine polyps, also known as endometrial polyps. Uterine polyps are more likely developed in women who are between 40 and 50 years old than in the younger women. Uterine polyps can occur after menopause but rarely occur in women under 20 years old. Now you can see this is the polyp and this polyp measures about 4.1 centimeter into 1.0 centimeter. Around 5% of uterine polyps are cancerous or precancerous. Uterine polyps range in size from a few millimeters, not larger than a sea seam seed, to several centimeters golf ball size or larger. They attach to the uterine wall by a large base of a thin stalk, and there may be one or multiple uterine polyps. In this case, there is a single uterine polyp. Signs and symptoms of uterine polyps include irregular menstrual breeding, for example, having frequent unpredictable periods of variable length and heaviness. Bleeding between menstrual periods, then there is excessive heavy menstrual periods, vaginal bleeding after menopause, and infertility. Now you can see a small fibroid in the middle portion of the uterus near the interior wall and this mass is although it is small it is round to oval in shape now the causes of uterine polyps are each month estrogen levels in women rise and fall causing the lining of the uterus to thicken and then shed during the periods polyps from for polyps form when too much of that lining grows that may be due to the changes in the estrogen levels that happen just before and during menopause you can see the uterine fibroid and polyps simultaneously in a patient Now, treatment may not be necessary if the polyp do not cause any symptoms. During, However, polyps should be treated if they cause heavy bleeding during menstrual periods or if they are suspected to be precancerous or cancerous. If a polyp is discovered after menopause, it should be removed. Now, you can see the ovary it is rare for uterine polyp to be cancerous if they are not causing any problem monitoring the polyps over time is a reasonable approach if you develop symptoms such as abnormal bleeding however then the polyp should be removed and evaluated to confirm that there is no evidence of cancer. Now you can see the fibroid and again as well as the polyp. After removal of the polyp, the patient can return to work in few days. She may notice a little spotting for a few days. Only a small percentage of polyps seem to come back, but it is possible that months or years after treatment, polyp might reoccur. 
Overgrowth of the cell in the lining of the uterus leads to the formation of uterine polyps, also known as endometrial polyps. The polyps are usually non-cancerous, that is benign, although some can be cancerous or can eventually turn into a cancer. These are called precancerous polyps. Approximately half of the women with uterine polyps have irregular periods. Other symptoms include prolonged excessive menstrual bleeding, menorrhagia, bleeding between periods, and bleeding after menopause or sexual intercourse. Uterine polyps are the cause of abnormal bleeding in about 25% of these cases. Uterine fibroids are benign tumors that originate in the uterus. Although they are composed of some smooth muscle cell fibers as the uterine wall myometrium, they are much denser than the normal myometrium. Uterine fibroids are usually round. In most cases, fibroids do not cause pain, but usually they are, they are not dangerous. They can cause discomfort and may lead to complications such as anemia, fatigue, resulting from heavy blood loss. As fibroids are typically not cancerous, so you can decide whether you want to have them removed or not. You may not need surgery if your fibroid doesn't bother, do, bother you. However, if woman has heavy menstrual bleedings, you might consider surgery. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.